Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Welcome to Miss Megas Class Kids Halo students grade 6 class A and B Stay in Selma di Jakarta How are you today? I hope you always find and happy learning from your home Okay kids Today, English lesson about simple past tense part 2 Minggu lalu kita sudah pernah membahas apa itu simple past tense Simple past tense digunakan untuk membicarakan tentang masa lalu atau yang sudah terjadi Dan minggu lalu kita juga sudah mempelajari apa itu verb Nah, ada yang regular, ada yang irregular What we will learn today? Regular and irregular verb Affirmative, negative, and interrogative sentence Past tense Are you ready kids? Okay students They know irregular verbs have special past tense forms They do not end in D or ED You will need to memorize this special form Example, drive to drove pastnya Nah, sedangkan regular verbs When forming the past tense of regular verbs at D or D to present tense form of the verb Contohnya, cook jadi cook, tinggal pakein ed di belakangnya Nah, itu dia yang sudah kita belajar minggu lalu Regular verb, kata kerja beraturan, tinggal tambahin ed di belakang kata Contohnya, watch jadi watch it, visit, visit, it. clean, clean, gampang banget kan Nah Sedangkan irregular verb, kata kerja tidak beraturan, katanya berubah. Contohnya, do jadi did, buy jadi bought, drink, drank, eat, at, apalagi ya, mm, go, when. Oke okay, kids, ini Miss Mia kasih contoh vac- vocabulary atau verb. Regular verbs and irregular verbs, bentuk present dan pasnya yang bisa kalian uh, hafalkan yang irregularnya. Kalau yang regularnya kan tinggal tambahin id aja. Sedangkan yang irregular, you must memorize them. Arise, rose, be, was, word, begin, begin, choose, chose, come, come, another. Move, move, talk, talk. Nah, kalau yang irregularnya, she, saw, get, got, take, to, write, world. You must uh, memorize irregular for Secara gimana kalian bisa baca di kamus Good kids Next Simple past tense uh, Itu ada afirmatif, positif, negatif, and interrogatif Jadi ada gak bentuk kalimat positifnya, negatifnya, dan kalimat tanyanya Seperti apa? Yuk kita lihat Yang regular verb Bentuk positifnya She called me yesterday She didn't call me yesterday Did she call me yesterday? Yes, she did or no, she didn't Nah, kalau yang kalian positifnya kan verbnya jadi verb to ya Bentuk pas, sedangkan bentuk negatifnya Kalian tambahkan did, didn't atau kita sebutnya did not Boleh uh, kalian tulisnya did not or didn't Nah, verbnya kembali ke verb one Sedangkan irregular verbnya I want to Yogyakarta last year I want to Yogyakarta last year I didn't go to Yogyakarta last year Nah, gimana bentuk tanyanya? Ya, did I go to Yogyakarta last year? Didnya di depan Yes, I did No, I didn't Ya, jadi kalimat negatif dan kalimat tanya uh, Verbnya tetap verb one Yang bentuk pas hanya bentuk kalimat positifnya Okay, kids, this is your activity time at your Google Classroom. I think enough for today. Thank you for your attention. Wabillahi taufiq wa hidayah. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bye-bye, kids. Have a nice day.